Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the July Valley High kit. And I believe this is the sixth layout using this kit and it took me an hour and 34 minutes. And I'm showing you some of the stuff that I may be using. A lot of it is scraps that were left over from other um, layouts. And then there are some full sheets. And I want to do a page of, uh, the photo is of my daughter and her best friend. They have been friends since grade nine. And I think it was almost like the first week of grade nine because they had both um, tried out for cheerleading and both made the junior team. So they, they uh, started hanging out and they have been on the same team ever since, uh, whether it was high school or, or um, international team or senior team, you know. And uh, even when they graduated, they graduated the same year. They, when we took their graduation pictures, obviously we took graduation pictures, you know, she took some alone and my daughter took some alone. But then each of them took pictures uh, with each other for graduation. So it was, it was kind of sweet. And uh, even her best friend now has a one-year-old and they went for family pictures uh, a few weeks ago and they she took pictures with her and my daughter and the baby. So it was really cute, really sweet pictures. So I just want to, you know, scrap about their their friendship and how, you know, they've been friends for for a long time. And even now, you know, they've been graduated for this is going on the third year and they're still, you know, buddies. So I matted my photo on gray cardstock and then a lot of those were a scrap so I just kind of used the size of scrap that I had so the first one in behind was sort of a blue paper and then it had the peach and white dots and then that was a full sheet but then the chevron is chevron and cream paper were a scrap and so were the dots blue and white dots and I'm gonna go this way with the layout for quite a bit of the layout uh, I think over half an hour and um, then once I take everything off and I guess the dots were was not a, a scrap it was a full sheet of, of uh, paper that I cut down and then I walked away <clears throat> and when I come back I move everything everything around and I like it better the second time around and I find that too sometimes when I'm when I'm doing a page when I find like it's just not going together the way I want to and everything's a struggle I turn off the recording and I walk away and I usually come back like either later on if I was scrapbooking early in the morning I come back later on at night and I have a dis different perspective about it or if it's late at night then I come back the next day so now I'm you know pulling out some stickers that I had put aside with this kit they're from Amy Tangerine and then I'm using the EK success powder tool and I had a few questions about where you can get that. They just got it back in stock at Simon Says, and I believe it's $5.50. So it's not an expensive tool. And I had my, I've had mine for, I don't know, maybe six, seven months. And I can't even tell that, you know, the powder has gone down any. And I, when it is empty, I'll just open the barrel and because it just unscrews and then I'll put more powder in. I mean, really cheap tool to have. And I looked away there, so I don't know what happened. I believe I might have walked away. Sometimes I do that. I'll just walk away and to put a load of laundry on or whatever the case may be. And I don't stop the recordings because the more videos that I have to upload to iMovie, the longer it takes. So if I can avoid that, um, then it's more movies that I can upload to YouTube. And I've had one, the last video that I put up, uh, scrapbooking process uh, 140, it took me 14 times 
to upload it. Like it would go, you know, 40, 50% and then it would fail or it would just go to 10% and then it would fail. And it took literally two days to upload it. And and, it, and that's why uh, it, it was a while before I could upload something. But I think I found a way. It's because my Mac, I use it wireless and it just dawned on me i wonder if i go plug in like ethernet like directly plug in if it would be better and the video uploaded in seven minutes i couldn't believe it that's the fastest it's ever uploaded so i'm going to just do that from now on i'm just going to go downstairs and just plug my computer in and so hopefully i'll be able to upload uh, more videos that way um we just got a whole bunch of changes done with our TV, internet, and phone. And ever since we did that, I've been having issues uploading videos. So now I'm going through some of the other embellishments that, you know, I might want to use on this layout. And I was sure I wanted to use some of these, but I put them aside and then I never get back to them. So I'll have to use them on another layout. So that's okay. Sometimes that happens, you know, like you just end up going in a different direction. So at this point, I decide that I was going to take some of the scraps of the pattern paper and make little flags. So I'm just going to go through all the different pattern papers that I used on the page and I'm going to make a few flags. I'm going to make um, three for this part right here, right to the left of the photo. And I want to, you know, mess around a little bit with the different colors that I want. I'm going to cut more than I actually need. And then I'm also going to make little ones to for the top right of the layout. And I just found it kind of went with because, you know, it is, you know, they're dressed in, in cheerleading. And this, again, was just a nice opportunity for me to take pictures of them because we were all together uh, for the competition. So I'm just going to cut out another little one and I'm going to make a third flag for the top of the layout. And the way I have it arranged right now, it's going to be different on the end of the layout because because I never remember by the time I go and get everything placed, I forget how it went, but I still like the way it it ended up looking. I like the way it is on the video right now, but I still end up liking. So for a while there, I'm going to leave four flags to the left of the photos, but I find it's too busy. It's too cluttered. So I'm going to remove one of them. So this is where I walked away. And when I came back, I just had a fresh, fresh, you know, outlook on what I wanted to do. So I knew I wanted to ink all the edges of all the papers, big and small, all the flags and all the um, embellishments. So that's going to take me a bit of time. And while I'm doing that, I'll just remind you that uh, there's a few places because a lot of people, because at the end of the video, it's just kind of fast when you see the, the page. So um, people like to see it a little longer. So there's four places that you can go and check those out. I upload all my pages at Two Peas in a Bucket and Studio Calico and in the members gallery just uh, type in Nicole Jones 911. You can join my join me on Facebook. The link the link is in the description and we just motivate each other to uh, get stuff done and like I said I've been having a bit of internet issues so I haven't been on there as much as I like to but hopefully that'll get resolved soon but the challenge this month is to um, organize your scrap room clean everything up get all ready one I mean the beginning of the year is coming fast and two I want to do a December daily so I want to be totally organized and ready to you know I don't know if I'll be able to scrapbook every day from the 12th of December on probably because I'm off but before that, probably not. But I want to take pictures every day. And I'm going to do a project life type of December daily. Once I have everything, I will upload a few videos to outline what I'm going to do. So after I did um, ink all the edges up, I took my journaling pen out. It's a black journaling pen. I believe it's 0.02. 
and I'm going to outline all the pattern papers because again I want it to stand out a little bit more off the page because the background is white and the pattern paper are kind of you know soft colors so I want it to to stand out on the page and I believe I this is the last of that chevron paper that I'm using on this layout so I'm gonna to have to take out the second sheet and uh, start using that so I'm really liking that I'm you know using up a lot of my pattern papers and I'm trying to use more too as background so that that is also helping so this is where I decide I want to put the blue polka dot vertical and put the gray chevron horizontal so then it just kind of I don't know it just looks better I like it much better so I'm going to piece those two gray chevrons together so it looks like it's one piece of pattern paper and then I'm going to put the doily so it's above the pattern paper before I had put it below or underneath and I just found that um, the little flags were kind of getting lost so there I'm just lining them up so they look like they are part of the same piece of paper and that aqua or teal paper it's all wonky and <laughs> all crooked but I, I don't care it just adds texture and movement to the page so I don't mind that at all so now I'm just noticing that there's an awkward um, space there right underneath the photo and I, I'm not liking it at all so I'm going to cut something up and or a page up and I'm going to put it right there just to kind of cover that up and I just want to talk about you know they've done so many things uh, together her friend had never stayed in a hotel room before and we took her on a hockey, hockey tournament um, with us. And uh, she had never left the province either. So we had gone to uh, Prince Edward Island, which is, you know, not far from here. It's It may be like half an hour, 45 minutes, but it's a different province. So it she got to go to another province and stay in a hotel. Well, actually, the first time I think it was in Halifax, which is still another province it's in Nova Scotia and um, so we brought her with us there and then we brought her with us in Prince Edward Island so she uh, really enjoyed that so that's where the car comes in it's just you know like we've taken her places with us and and um, she had you know a lot of first time of things that she got to do with us so I just wanted to you know to document that and now I'm going to start gluing down the layers and I knew I wanted to add some foam tape just underneath the flags just at the bottom of the flags just so that it looks like they're like if you could see the page uh, and the battery dies before I can show any more but the flags are kind of lifted so it looks like um, they're flying away and I just want to apologize for my hand it looks really gross <laughs> I um, we cooked breakfast for our team last Monday and on Remembrance Day and um, I burnt my hand really bad and now it seems like it's um, may be infected so I'm trying to put some you know some cream on it to to make it better but it really looks awful <laughs> and then this is where I'm going to glue that little pattern paper with the car and stuff just to kind of hide that nasty little white trap you know white space that was trapped and then I'm going to add some foam tape to that ticket and and then there was another tick, um, sticker that I had taken out and it said note, noteworthy and then the bow is because you know they're dressed in cheerleading and then I put a little wooden clip and then I'm going to put some flags at the top of the page and then this 
um, flag, I guess, just says this. And then I'm going to add some washi tape just to kind of connect everything together, I guess. And I'm going to put some foam tape in behind that bow. And the foam tape I got it at Custom Crops. And it's a huge roll. And it's not acid free, I have to say. And um, that, but that for me, anyway, so, you know, if, if that bothers you, then, you know, there's plenty out there that, that are acid free. So make sure you get the acid free one. But for me, I know that I have so many pictures that I took and so many, you know, they, they're digital so they can have access to them. And I just use so many, so much tape that I want to make sure that I have lots. And then there was a stamp that I got in one of my Freckle Fawn kits. And it said Wild Thing. And I mean, the, the name of their team is Wild, Wild Cheer. So I thought that was perfect. So I took my Butter Bar Hero Arts ink and I'm going to stamp it out and I'm going to put that as an accent on the page because I'm using a flare from the Travel Girl collection and then uh, I'm using I think it's um, Dear Lizzie that circle right there that's gray so I just wanted three elements that were round so this the third one I made it so that it was um, yellow and I thought maybe that I would stamp something else up there, but I don't end up stamping it. And because there was some yellow, or if you want to say gold, in the bow, that's and there's gold on their uniforms, and then I stamped that in yellow, um, I'm going to do um, the rest of my accents. I'm going to bring the yellow out. So I'm going to bring out some yellow twine. And Celine, I just want to let you know, I did read your comment about your challenge for twine, but I read it after this page was done. So I am taking on your challenge and I'm going to try and find different ways that I can use twine on the layouts. Um, I might still do that Bali thing and, you know, the twirly twirl for the butterfly, but I'm going to try and add different ways to use it on the page. So um, that I plan on starting another layout tonight or tomorrow morning. So I'll keep that in mind. So I had those blue buttons, but where I wanted my accents to be in yellow now, I dug through the kit and took out some yellow buttons. I was trying to use a little bit more stuff from the kit this time. So I did use um, the buttons and I used up a lot of papers to make my own embellishments so that's you know a, a, oh and then one of those clips too and uh, so that's what I, I wanted to do I just wanted to make sure that you know so I used a lot of scraps and I used I made a lot of um, texture and layers with the papers. So now I'm going to glue down my twine and what I do is I just take my quick dry adhesive and I just make a blob and stick it in and now I know I want to color those stars so they look gold but the gold Mr. Huey it really was kind of a flat gold and I didn't like it at all so I'm going to put that away and now I'm looking for my butter bar ink again and I'm going to ink up those stars and I just kind of drop the ink pad on, you know, onto the stars and then they all stuck to it and I'm just going to color them in. I dried them a little bit and they went flying everywhere, but it doesn't take long to dry anyway. So I'm just going to ink those up and put them aside so I can put them on the layout once I'm, once I'm at that spot of the layout. And now I know I want to, after I glued the buttons down, I was like, oh, you haven't sewed the buttons in a long time. But I didn't want to sew it through the layout because a lot of it had a lot of layers underneath and I knew it would be hard. So I just threaded the button and then I just 
I'm going to put another glue dot here in a little bit and just glue them back on so that it's pretend sewed. I've been a little lazy lately and haven't been sewing down my buttons. So I just want to make sure that I want to add that extra texture in there. So now I'm going to fuss with the stars. And then I'm going to color in some gems that we got in this month's kit, some uh, clear gems. Oh, I guess that's the other thing that I used too, was those gems. I used the gems. And I'm going to color them in that light, light aqua. And I'm sure uh, even in the pictures you won't be able to tell, but in person you can see the light aqua. So it it's really adds a nice um, touch to the layout. I also added two little potty girls just to kind of, you know, show the little girls because the, I mean, I'm talking about the the two girls and I haven't done the journaling on this yet and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a tag because the layout is not all glued down so at the top of the layout there's a nice or next to the flags there there's a nice spot there that I can add a tag so I'll just add a tag and that it peeks out a little bit so it's not going to add too much to the layout you know what I mean as far as design and um, I'm just going to do the, the journaling on that. So I'll just stick a tag in there and do the journaling. Now I'm going to work on the title. And at first I think I'm going to use those um, October afternoon letters that came in the kit. But then I decide against it. And I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to use the black letters that came in the kit. They're from Pebbles. And then I'm going to use the October afternoon um, what are they called? Honey, I believe. Yes, honey. And they're circular and I just love them for making titles. And the only thing I didn't like about that alpha right there, it really got lost on, on the page. Like you can't even see it. I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to add, oh, I guess I took them off right away. Oh yes, because I was going to add some Mr. Huey and I didn't want yellow you know, it's okay if it's going to stay on the page, but I don't want, I didn't want yellow on the letters if they weren't going to stay on the page. So I, I took those off and then now I'm digging through and finding those pebble letters. And I'm going to put them at the bottom right underneath them. And then again, I find, you know, they're getting lost. So I'm going to put it at the top and I'm going to put directly on the photo. And I don't mind putting stuff on the photo. And now I'm going to find the letters to spell forever. And I'm going to put it right underneath besties. And I like to take out all the letters and just stick them on my fingers because I can't stand peeling them off one at a time. I just want to get it done. And then after that, I am going to start putting my enamel dots and then the battery dies. And I wanted to make sure that I could upload, uh, this is Saturday, but I want to upload it on Sunday right away. So I wanted to make sure I could upload all the pages and get that up because I was quite a while without uploading a layout. So I want to try and upload, you know, every two days for, for a little bit. So I'm going to show you a few close-ups. And that's it. The page is done. So thanks for watching. Bye.